So yeah, today here I'm Rocky here as the host and the speaker as usual, or Ashiki here, which is uh, very honored that finally we're able to meet up over here, you know, in the, in the same camera. We don't have to talk over the air, you know, on the webcam kind of thingy. So yeah, so today we would like to share more about the Q&A session, which is the past, uh, past session, which is actually can be shared, right? So uh, uh, how NDM works, you know, how, how industry case study and movement and so on. There are a lot more case study to be shared, but uh, today we are more focused on questions you know to answer all the questions to our fan our follower our audience which is you guys uh lovely that uh, we have several highlighted questions to like to share out with you guys so we go down by one by one but uh way before that i'd like to share like i would like to invite ashikin right to share once a yeah. short recap of like the whole thing like how empty bands works or anything just a short recap mm -hmm. right here goes all right hi uh, good morning everybody uh <laughs> it's me again okay over the last uh, i think two webinar sessions we already uh conclude the i'll share you a few recaps on the use case studies that mm -hmm. we have implementing <coughs> mdm into it and then uh, we already discussing a very casual introduction to mdm as well mm -hmm. so for today i'll be answering like a few q a session uh, regarding mdm True. or I'll just uh, put in some of the case study for a better understanding as well. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, let's not waste no time. You know, we got our monitor here of a set of questions that we, uh, the team has highlighted. So let's go with the first questions, like the most uh, highlighted one, which a lot of thumbs up. We got it. So why do MDM is important and why enterprise need it? Is it suitable with all field of industry? of industry or just specific industry sorry let me read it again so why do mdm is important and why enterprise need it is it suitable with all field of industry or just specific uh industry all right so these questions i think uh, the most uh, top questions that we got so uh, the first sub questions i'll be answering is why do mdm is why do mdm is important and why enterprise need it as you know mdm uh, deals with the basic of securing devices Mm -hmm. So it was the first response uh, once the mobile ecosystem mm -hmm. uh, figured out where people were doing real world, re real and sometimes like valuable and sensitive information. So MDM is about uh, being able to enroll, uh, viewing or okay. managing uh, and protecting the corporate owned devices or their own, uh, their own devices under the corporate data. And then they have the capability to include the ability to lock, uh, to locate the device, and if necessary, to wipe the uh, wipe off the data from the mm -hmm. devices. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I think uh, which is uh, this is the core reason why MDM is like a fundamental element of uh, why in the enterprise needed. And then uh, for the yeah for the second part of the question like is it suitable is it suitable yeah. uh with with all fields of industry mm -hmm. or just specific industries yeah. uh i'll give you the case of our own uh, clients one, yeah, yeah and my own clients and uh -huh. then um for my experience not uh, the the our clients is the diversified so it can be from a logistics <coughs> industries, it can be from a F and B retails, manufacturing. As long as the industries or the organization is in need of a managed devices, yeah. So I think I'll cover it. Yeah, sorry, the monitor is a bit uh a bit a bit on a sideways, which you can't see. So uh, the top questions. Yeah, the top questions. Mm -hmm. So uh. One moment, yeah, the, like the bit setting here. I want to be in line with the monitor and everything. Yeah, here it goes. Right. So yeah, we are back on track. So yeah, question number two mm. will be like, can you tell the tell tell not only me, like it's us, right? Okay. So tell tell us about the uh, pro and con of an MDM. And also it would be great that if you can provide a real life uh, example on how unavailability of its result in a huge loss of a company. I think this question is kind of tough but yeah. uh, but the first part definitely we've been shared like past uh past during like our previous session. Mm. But I think the second part would be a very challenging question for us as well. Yeah, true. Okay, mm. for the first part is uh the pros of MDM. The advantages of MDM mm. is um they covered a wide variety of uh, advantages. One is mm. they can manage the users and the devices remotely. 
-hmm. And then uh, this being that uh, the IT department, they can actually disable unauthorized users mm -hmm. or any application that are being installed inside the managed devices. Mm -hmm. And then the second one, I think it can uh, control application downloads. Mm -hmm. Uh, this allow any download of apps uh, and provide a centralized control to allow users okay. to install the apps. Okay, and then number three, we can provide a data backup. Data backup. Yeah, data backup. Uh, in case of any failure of the managed device, mm -hmm, right, mm -hmm. there will be no losses of corporate data or information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, meaning, sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah, okay. so meaning, meaning that uh, like some. Uh, we call the cyber threat or you can yeah. say the you know data theft mm -hmm. you're trying to steal data will not be possible right yes because it is being managed by mdm right that's good that's good mm. and then maybe mm. uh the another pros is the device can be updated silently Sign. meaning that they allow centralized control of audit or the updates meaning mm -hmm. you won't uh, if you have the managed device you won't even have the trouble to install it they can mm -hmm. easily automatically install <laughs> the updates and then they can also reinforce uh, the security policy security enforcement, policy. yeah. Which by this way is actually they implement a password or uh, like access limitation to certain mm -hmm. apps. So let's say the device falls onto stranger's hand, like they can't even open the apps without the proper credentials. True, true. Yeah. And then uh, for a real life example, let's say if a company that didn't really require any MDM, mm -hmm. one thing there will be a loss of uh, the productivity and efficiencies of the workers will be licensed compared to the one who are using an MDM. I see. Yeah. So let's say nowadays, uh, I'm giving an example for an insurance company. All right. All right. Yeah. Sure, companies uh traditionally they are using all the kind of brochures and paper mm -hmm. documents. The one with sign yes. during the fall. Yeah, which is uh right. time consuming and right. very burdensome. Yeah. Uh and uh they have higher risk of uh, misplaced identity or documentation. That's true. But using uh an MDM, mm -hmm. they can actually uh put the content or brochures or any mm -hmm. kind of uh like um, documented or encrypted document inside the tablet and mm -hmm. with MDM, they manage to protect it and encrypt it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this may bring uh, like uh, uh, increased efficiencies to the workers' uh, performances or their I KPI. Yeah. So they can generate new leads, they can like submit code faster. Mm -hmm. so, so everything is going digital. Yes. And how MDM actually uh, help the, uh, you know, our organization or enterprise to yeah. actually, you know, Give them a full package that to cover in terms of security level yes, exactly. as well as productivity everything yes. yeah. wow that's like uh that's crazy can you imagine <laughs> like just one thing can cover most of it yes correct that's that's crazy really. okay i think um is it, we can move on to, to the yeah, next one yeah because the, the question is kind of related somehow so uh -huh. yeah so back to the third question so uh which is highlighted which there's one thumbs up specifically when I leave my company is all the data on my personal device being wiped or lost forever meaning that uh, I believe this 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 person who's asking these questions are kind of curious about uh, the device that he mm -hmm. owned mm -hmm. and uh, will it be like you know get wiped or you know or is, is it gone forever yeah yeah so I understand yeah so uh, in your expertise Ashikin uh, how, how do you understand I mean how, I mean I wouldn't say how you understand but more like how you're gonna share your thoughts and you know the your, your expertise mm. in terms of the question over here. Okay. For the question of uh, an employee, uh, like leaving the company, mm -hmm. uh, they actually have two kind of situations. Two kind. One is whether the device is a corporate owned devices. Corporate owned device. Yeah, if corporate owned devices, then this one should be no issue <laughs> because once in, uh, like mm -hmm. any employees that leaving the companies, all the data, all the corporate data, corporate, corporate data. information will be wiped. Really the moment that the person <laughs> leaves the company. I see. But the second one will be on second. the yeah, second situation will be using their own devices, right? Bring your own devices. Oh, okay. Whereby perhaps inside their <laughs> own devices there will be a work profile and their personal personal profile, which will contain their own personal information. I see, there. I see. So for this <clears throat> type of uh situations, mm -hmm. what MDM did was they won't allow uh any interruptions or any privacy. Mm -hmm. uh being leaked or like uh, being mm -hmm. disturbed onto the personal information of that particular mm -hmm. uh, employee instead they will do like they can wipe or like remove any corporate information 
corporate yeah. information. The so keyword is corporate. So, so it's only dedicated for your company or organization, set up the rules or kind of things. Yeah, correct. I see, I see. Well, mm. um, I think we, I think previously our session have uh, shared something similar to this uh, yes. topic, which is BYOD kind of thing. Yes, correct. Yeah, so for you guys who do not know, you guys mm. might want to watch it uh, from the previous uh, chapter, I could say. Or, <laughs> yeah. our previous webinar. Yeah, exactly. So uh, today, like again, I just want to remind everyone today is more on uh, answering all the top questions that we have uh, received from uh, our audience or, or you can say our followers. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've been sending us uh, quite a number of times like uh, the questions. So over the time, we actually uh, found, uh, highlight the team actually highlighted these few questions, which is what we'd like to share with everyone. So basically, uh, we'd like to move on to the next question. So the next question is kind of very, very uh, very very common mistake that uh, people like you know confuse yeah. which is what's the difference between emm and mdm all right so i think i should get this one uh, you're gonna be a very short one because <laughs> yeah, uh, we've, short we've, one. Been, like, we've been discussing we've been discussing for a lot of time okay so uh let me just start by saying the the correct um meaning or definition of EMM and NDM. Right. So EMM, as you know, it stands for Enterprise Mobility Management. Exactly. And then uh, whereas MDM is for stands for Mobile Device nice. Management. management. All right. So actually Mobile Device Management is now considered a part of Enterprise Mobility Management mm-hmm. instead of an interchangeable term. So while most people search for a solution that are still looking for an MDM, MDM. Uh, yeah, Actually, vendors have started officially calling their MDM solution as an EMM solution. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yeah. what's the difference? Like, uh, this is being like, uh, being like MDM. It stands for like mobile device management. Mm-hmm. But now it is more than just a mobile. True. It's beyond that. It's no longer just about the devices. Mm-hmm. So and then like we have recent and future endeavors. Also, we are uh, engaging in more like uh, application management, content management, content asset management. management. So all these kind of components, which I previously covered in our last sessions of the webinar. <laughs> yeah, I actually talk about uh, EMM components, mm-hmm. which MDM is a part of the EMM components. So they are actually making up one big platform of emm okay yeah so i guess uh if you want to know more about the <laughs> emm component you can just uh, check uh, check out our previous uh, webinar on mm-hmm. emm yeah yeah I, I mean to be honest like we've been discussing this for yeah. a long time like yeah the question is still coming in because i think these are huge uh, confusion mm-hmm. between uh, the user and everyone yeah, so i think we, we have to keep uh share out you know mm-hmm. keep educating you know keep sharing this this uh the common confusion yeah, in the market actually in terms of terminology yeah terminology, terminology yeah. exactly Correct. so yeah let's go for the next question is uh is mdm a software or an application that being installed in the phone to control or manage it meaning that uh i think this person is kind of confused about the MDM is, uh, is an app or is it yeah. an application? I mean, is an app in a it's sense? All, or... It's all the, in terms of terminology. Yes, well. <laughs> okay. So. Okay, what I can say is uh, MDM or uh, mobile device management is mm-hmm. actually a software application used to manage endpoint. Endpoints are uh, in here, in, uh, I can say it's in terms of smart devices, yes, the, your laptops, yeah. your tablet, your even your OS, your Windows OS or your Mac mm-hmm. OS. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So basically, uh, let's say I take an example of one of our MDM uh, provider, which yeah. is the Samsung Knox. Yep. Yeah. Basically, if you were to manage an Android device or an iOS devices mm-hmm. uh, through Samsung Knox Manage, basically the Samsung Knox Manage already have an application that mm-hmm. are free and available in the Play Store or Google Play mm-hmm. Stores. So from there, uh, you will need to like after you install the APK files, then you just need to just uh like log in and then access using your own credentials that are provided by your IT department. I see, I yeah. see. I mean, uh, again, I mean, this one. I think we have touched this point before mm-hmm. in the previous one, but uh, it's not as specific. Yeah. Like, like how how it works and uh, yes. I think this person also have confusion with uh. I think he missed out. Definitely, he missed out that our. Our previous uh previous webinar definitely this guy is I missing. Think, but out. <laughs> if the, if anybody like uh inqu- still inquiring how mm-hmm. does the MDM works, then they can just uh drop us an email. email. Yeah, we can just uh provide the demo sessions for them and then like provide them mm-hmm. the trial license 
for them to like uh, to experiment it. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. You can try mm -hmm. it out yourself. But I think the easiest way is just to like drop drop it down in the comment section, like mm -hmm. just to PM us or maybe just text us yes. instead of sending an email like very old school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going digital, right? Like right? go, we're using chat nowadays, and uh, right. we have immediate response anyway. So yeah, the next question uh, we have highlighted is uh, how do you secure the privacy of BYOD and MDM? Uh, again, I think this is a uh, question related back to the previous yes. questions. Yeah. This is related to the last session of the webinar. As well. Where, yeah, so where <laughs> I talk about uh, the differentiation between BYOD and CYOD. Mm. And then mostly, the now in, actually companies are implementing more BYOD as it brings convenience to the employees mm -hmm. as well. So how do you secure the privacy of BYOD and MDM? So I'll just briefly go through this. Uh, actually, first of all, is know your company's policy. So uh, by using your own uh, your own devices, right? Mm -hmm. Your own managed devices mm -hmm. to do the work. Like uh, you, you, you yourself as the employee, you have to know what kind of policy are being set in your, your own devices. So you won't get like... Uh, you don't you don't have to Sometimes deal with any authorized like, like, yeah. anxiety and certainty like being, yeah i know because you know, it, it's concerned your privacy yeah. and protections yeah this is actually one of the major concern of BYOD as well exactly. and then you have to understand how and when the device wiping can happen yes yeah so you're not like uh you wake up suddenly all your data <laughs> is gone <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I doubt right yeah actually they mitigate yes. the risk uh inherent to loss or like mm -hmm. any stolen devices and then in the case of byod uh, deployment mm -hmm. employees often have the access to corporate data or even like store the corporate data onto their own devices mm -hmm. and then uh but i think i think this is like a security risk as well true, because true. uh we never know how or mm -hmm. like when it is prone to security risks or like that data leakage. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And then maybe the thing is like uh, be aware of your company's mobile device management applications. Okay. Uh, this is like uh, first first uh, point just now, which mm -hmm. is know your own company's profile. Exactly. Yeah. So they this is your own responsibility towards your devices mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Yeah. Like like to top up for that, like mm -hmm. just just want to ask uh, uh Ashikin that uh. So does industry actually affect like such policy or like it's actually this uh, this kind of uh, policy or privacy you can say in terms of the like how 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 I mean in the industry wise right how mm -hmm. is it gonna affect like let's say we take crash insurance like earlier on you mentioned uh, and compare with uh let's say with manufacturer mm -hmm. the is that totally different industry yes correct but uh like how does it gonna be working in terms of like BYOD is it applicable for such industry or yeah. Actually, all the requirements and policies, mm -hmm. uh, depending on what kind of uh, restriction or limitation that the limitation. company wants. Yeah, okay. actually because the MDM solution, they mm -hmm. can segregate corporate data and your personal data. So mm -hmm. you can actually, uh, one, fully manage the device yourself. Fully and then managed. two, like, you can separate it using authorization, uh, see, for example. But it all comes down to what are the company's requirement towards the... the Means like tailor-made, custom-made for... Yes, it. Very cool. yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. in short, I think there's an in short yeah. uh, sharing. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's very, 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 very interesting to learn more. Okay. Like, let's go with next one. Like, do my business uh, need to be digitalized or need to equip with MDM? Oh. Oh, these questions. <laughs> oh, what do you think? Okay, do my business... <laughs> Do my business need to be digitalized only to equip with MDM? Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is quite a straightforward uh, answer because <laughs> <laughs> now we are slowly uh, integrating or like moving forward to with digitalization, yes, uh, paperless yeah. documentation and transactions. So I guess uh, <laughs> in order for a business or like an organization mm -hmm. to adapt the MDM um, MDM implementations, right? Exactly. Ones need to embrace the digitalization first. True. So it's it's not gonna be like uh, the whole digitalization uh, concepts gonna taken over the uh, company mm -hmm. motto or visions, but yeah. this is actually to improve their uh, efficiency, productivity yeah, of the, right. yeah, actually make the the workload make their efficiency better uh, mm -hmm. by implementing the MDM solutions. So I think. 
businesses need to be digitalization to to equip themselves with the MDM That's solutions. It. Yeah. I mean, this question is kind of common. Like uh, uh, recently, especially uh, during our time like this, uh, you know, the NCOs NCO, thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of my friends, you know, and you know, business owner that I know, friends, you can say, actually, are uh, talk have this conversation about going digitalization, you know, and how to adapt it, the new mm. normal kind of thing, mm. and so this question I uh, might be my friend, I, I ask you right, <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually asking about uh, how how you actually equip with MDM, which is actually key just now just mentioned mm. how it's a very straightforward question. It's not a, it's just something to improve the whole and enhance your whole organization in whole. To become more solid and more fundamental, uh, strong. Yes. So, right. yeah, I think Ashiki share a uh, very very straightforward answer. But just go next because we have no time. We have more here. So, why yeah. you choose MDM field? I mean, why? <laughs> <laughs> what is the future of MDM? Okay. And then how MDM can be improved? Well, oh. this is a very very uh, broad. They asked very <laughs> very broad specific questions, mm-hmm. and they uh divide it into like separate uh separate divisions so i say mm-hmm. so one thing is why you choose mbm field mm-hmm. <laughs> mbm field i think nowadays uh, especially particularly in malaysia mm-hmm. uh mbm exposure is still very minimal as per coming up like, yeah but it is coming up it's coming. yeah and then like many enterprise are uh, on the level organizations level they have started to implement mdm actually mm-hmm. uh this is like inside uh, in their office premises or uh, like for mdm they only have uh, they have like on cloud and the on premise so because they know like the importance of mobility is in their organizations mm-hmm. so due to the increase of mobile services nowadays right uh, it is very difficult to manage and secure your data properly so i think mm-hmm. uh, this is what the enterprise or organizations uh, mm-hmm. comes to know about like how how you want to manage your device and secure it so this is where mdm comes in actually i think the best example is like a mm-hmm. uh, different kind of state you know the different location yeah. and how they're gonna like you know, take care Literally, of all of these. Uh, ask the it it staff yeah. like technicians go to the, all the way states, to the north yeah, let's say you know. just to like troubleshoot <laughs> very like simple oh, simple yeah. network problem or like oh, yeah. any kind of technical issues exactly which can be done by remotely by mdm yes, exactly. yeah this is actually like a lessen their workload <laughs> improve their efficiency and exactly yeah. it's, it's save a lot of time and the yes, cost correct. Think, yeah that's the and then important. i think the, uh an it management manager or like an it staff mm-hmm. can also understand the features and deploy any kind of app silently and over the air as well wow, wow. yeah this is actually uh increase the efficiency of any implementing uh, any enrollment of mm-hmm. new devices or like an existing mm-hmm. devices mostly it's an update right so yes, yes an update it's is update. Update is actually a very menial but tedious yeah, thing to exactly. do prior to MDM, as to say. Like, yeah. and I think, uh, like, what is the future of MDM now? Is I think the scope is maybe one is we can reduce mobility challenges. Yes. And then we can reduce the security threat. And security then threat, yeah, like mentioned then, earlier. Yes, I mentioned. Yeah, and then uh, number three is number three, the yes. uh, regarding the BYOD, we can yeah, enable okay. users to be yes. yeah and then how mdm can be improved i think uh <laughs> mdm can be improved uh this may be uh we'll be touching a bit about the cons of mdm mm-hmm. whereby for now they can't really uh, prevent any data leakage on the cloud service cloud cloud-based cloud, cloud uh, yeah, cloud right. level so maybe for futures we can we can do that we have several uh alternative to do this but this one uh, if you're interested we can discuss this over <laughs> yep. our next live sessions where uh, we can discuss more on the uh to talk about features uh, mm-hmm. of on-premise mdm and over the cloud mdm on-premise and yeah. so that might be our next topic just stay yeah, tuned we do not be. know <laughs> yeah okay. So moving next question is uh how do you support if my business is in other state? Is come back to the question. Uh, I mean, mm. I mean, Ashiki just shared earlier, right? Maybe you like to skip this, right? It's totally the same uh, as you mentioned. Maybe I can add a bit. I'll add a bit, right? Good. <laughs> yeah, I can add a bit about uh the Android remote control. Android remote control. Yeah, actually, how do you support if your business is in mm-hmm. other state yeah. or other region? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is wha- where uh we are actually uh, reducing the workload of uh, any IT department or mm-hmm. the technical mm-hmm. staff 
by implementing the Android remote support. This is actually mm -hmm. uh, one of the features in the Samsung box. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they actually the, have the capability to allow any administration mm -hmm. to remote access the uh, Android devices or yeah. any devices that are enrolled in that portal. I see. And then uh, let's say if there's any case of um, troubleshootings or the device are uh, accidentally unenrolled. Mm -hmm. So the job of the admin is to just uh, uh like remote remotely support them without going to that particular mm -hmm. state or regions. So it saves time <coughs> and it saves money as well. I think most likely uh, every business uh, or every business owner mm -hmm. they like to, you know that I mean the the concept is like they want to save more money. You know? Like, yes, you know, correct. to save the cost, you mm -hmm. know, and the, you know, the app, the effort for going someone to have to drive all the way to the north or, you know, yeah, somewhere, or somewhere example. else. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Trust me, it's crazy. And a lot correct. of uh, miscellaneous costs, we call it. Yeah, mm. to be charged. I think this is one of the way that solve uh, most of the organization, mm. which is mm. a very, very big organization or small organization that uh, have located their business and location around the region or maybe over, over the country as well. Yeah, true. Yep. So a very quick one though. <laughs> so the next question a bit uh, a bit nice, which is I kind of like it is uh, what are the types of mobile application and how have they changed uh, changes in case of this application? Okay. Yes. What are the types of mm -hmm. mobile applications? So this one, um, there are actually three basic types of mobile applications. All right. Uh, one is the native apps. Native apps. Yeah, native apps is. <laughs> Native apps we created for one specific platform or mm -hmm. any OS. Okay. And then the second one will be the web apps. Web apps. Web apps. Yeah. Web apps, they are responsive versions of uh, websites mm -hmm. that can work on any mobile devices or, or OS because they are using, uh, they are delivered using a mobile browser. Mobile. So in the case of iOS, maybe from the Safari. Ah, I yeah. see, I see. And then uh, the third one will be the hybrid apps. Hybrid apps, which mean the combination of both native apps and the web uh, mm -hmm. web apps, and then the, this one is actually have the ability to create their own icons or can be downloaded from the app store itself. Okay. Mm. So this one is more technical terms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then uh, the oh. second question is the how MDM changes in this case of this uh, application right uh, applications. So when we talk about applications, mm -hmm. uh, going through the EMM components, there's one, uh, there's one component name mm -hmm. is a uh, mobile application management MAM. MAM. Yes, MAM or mobile application management. Uh, they are referred to the management of the entire apps facilities, including um, updating the apps, mm -hmm. uh, updating managing the app licenses or like uh, any kind of permissions. Mm -hmm. MAM can uh, ma manage and monitors all the, the types of mobile applications mentioned before. Mm -hmm. So it's a type of EMM features. I see. Yeah. So a quick question uh, for maybe the audience who might not know what is MDM and what is MAM. <laughs> I mean, uh, Ashigi has shared this uh, session earlier as well. Yeah, maybe yeah. you'd like to uh, do a very quick recap for uh, the, the differences of it. Mm, sure. When talk about MDM, MDM is a mobile device management. Mm -hmm. So basically, you are securing and managing your own devices. Mm -hmm. But when you talk about MAM, it's a mobile application management. Mm -hmm. So one of the like few features of MAM is actually uh, silent apps update. Mm -hmm. You can manage your uh, app application licenses. Okay. And then uh, any kind, any related uh, features or function of uh, the application mm -hmm. that can be monitored and managed by, via the MAM. I see. Mm -hmm. So the biggest difference one is the device, the one is on the application yes. level. It's exactly the way. Yeah. All right. Okay. So going next, uh, what is a device enrollment program? Okay. DEP. We call it DEP. DEP, right? Yes. So that's a short form. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> DEP is actually a device enrollment program. It's actually a part of the Apple deployment program. AP, ADP, uh, they actually help businesses or uh, education institutional uh, to easily deploy and configure their iOS and OS uh, devices, mainly mm -hmm. the macOS and the iOS devices. Yeah. For iOS, it's a bit uh, like 
the next level of deployment through iOS is mm -hmm. you need to have your own ABM, which is your Apple Business Manager account. Apple Business yes, Manager. Yes, in order for you to enroll your devices, then mm -hmm. you need the device enrollment program. <laughs> Uh, it's actually a next security level, as mm -hmm. you, you can call it, uh, that are mandated by the Apple themselves. I see. Whereby any iOS devices or any macOS devices, uh, they need to be enrolled in the EP program first. Then only then we can uh, supervise it or like manage it through MDM solutions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is something new. To, I mean, <laughs> for, for 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 the previous session, I uh, actually have never shared uh, share much about. IOS, yeah, yeah, IOS and okay, Yes. Mm. So I think this uh, might be something new. We can uh, go deeper maybe in the next session. I'm not sure. Yes, <laughs> uh, why not? We can. Yeah. Uh, well, again, this it. question is what is the difference between BIOD and MDM? I think uh, <laughs> a common. Yeah, they seem to be interested in, in, in BYOD and MDM. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so. uh, I'll just do a quick recap then. Yeah. Uh, as you know, BYOD is bring your own devices. Mm -hmm. So if you implement your MDM solution into your BYOD, so employees can be fully responsible towards their own devices, which are being managed by the MDM solutions, mm -hmm. whereby MDM is the mobile device management, the solution provided to manage and secure the devices mm -hmm. in BYOD. Mm -hmm. So. I think it's the summarize of, every, of everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is a very straightforward question, and yeah. uh, if you if you attend to our our, our previous uh, webinar, mm -hmm. live webinar, uh, most likely you will understand the differences because uh, we've been shared this a uh, couple of times. Yes. Should be repeating, but I believe uh, there are still people who, uh, I mean, our audience, lovely audience, are still uh, confused. I believe because of the mm -hmm. terms terminology, mm -hmm. like you mentioned. But uh, no worries, just check it out from our previous, uh, maybe we can share you the link down below yeah. uh, or in our YouTube and channel. If you have yeah. like, if you have a need for further explanation, mm -hmm. you can also reach us or just comment, comment down, the, down yeah. below the chat. Yeah, we are, we are, we are here to reply anytime. <laughs> so yeah, right. uh, let's move on like the next one, which is uh, what this is... This will be our last question. Is it the last? It should be the last or second last. Yeah, I think it's the last. Yeah. This is the last question of the day. Uh, what is the role of remote support in MDM? What is the role? Oh, this is the role, roles of remote support in yeah. MDM. Okay. Uh, I'll take an example of uh, Samsung Knox. Samsung Knox. Samsung Knox, they have their own remote support. Okay. So let's say in the case of you being the IT administrator, right? I'm right? IT guy now. Yeah. <laughs> you probably come across uh, such a like a malfunctioning devices, malfunctioning. Uh, maybe a failed client installations mm -hmm. or like apps that just keep crashing. And True. then like chances for you to resolve this to the like conventional way by going mm -hmm. there, yeah. it's going to be very troublesome and like costing a lot of money and time. Yeah. So by implementing the remote support mm -hmm. features, Actually, this method are often like very time consuming and mm -hmm. I don't know, it's like they can lessen your time to troubleshoot very such a like... I mean, speed up the whole process. Yeah, I actually, you can just uh, go to the dashboard and then locate the device right. and then figure out what is happening to the device and then just troubleshoot it <laughs> remotely. So that's why we call it remote support. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter where you are or like which area you are or the device is in like mm -hmm. is in the like let's say very secluded areas, we can still manage it by using the remote support. Remote support. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe Ashikin, let, let, let's make this more, more interesting question, which is uh, we add in an element, let's say we use just a case study. Yeah. Uh any industry which you are you are you are comfortable or maybe uh, mm -hmm. some new one, maybe you never know Ashikin has something new. <laughs> yeah. Uh maybe she can share us some uh some a use case, you know, a case study which is a uh, reason implement, which is uh, related to remote support. Mm, maybe we can take a uh, neighborhood apps. Neighborhood apps. Yeah, is... neighborhood apps is neighborhood actually apps. a new industries that are implementing MDM. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, let's say you are in a residential area, and the neighborhood apps actually uh, it is useful mm -hmm. for the resident and the uh, those who are managing and securing the whole area, like specific area of their residence. Let's mm -hmm. say we call it like... Uh, the Taman, Taman, taman right, 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 right
and then by using the MDM or like the remote support, mm-hmm. uh, just in case uh, one of the like the guard or the security, the guard security. yeah, the security assistant like lost the devices, or they mm-hmm. are accidentally uh, they want to uh, they accidentally un- uninstall or like but. Accidentally uninstalled is very rare and it is completely <laughs> impossible to do. But yeah. they say they are uh, installing some um, unauthorized apps. Unauthorized. Yes. That's good one. Unauthorized. Yes, unauthorized apps. So what they can do, they can just uh, click a, like there's a specific button to call for re- remote support. Mm-hmm. So what the, the IT department will get a notification mm-hmm. or like uh, they can just uh, notify us via email or any kinds of... Uh, communication anyway, means of communications yeah. so what we did was the it administration will just uh troubleshoot those those uh issues mm-hmm. the unauthorized download <laughs> so they can just remove the the unauthorized apps or any kind of uh, untrusted sources of uh, mm-hmm. downloads from the mm-hmm. portals and then it's, it's just a click away true true yeah but Talking about the unauthorized right i mm-hmm. you know just come to my mind uh, yeah. the thought of it like uh, i find uh, a bit a bit worried because uh, there are times like we accidentally share out some uh, you know corporate data or you know, kind mm. of thingy. Will it, will it be happens uh, often? Let's say in terms of like unauthorized data will actually uh, ex- some hackers or oh, cyber attack. Actually, kind of- yeah, for the unauthorized mm. uh, unauthorized installation or mm. unauthorized downloads yeah. in MDM, uh, let's say for example, Nox, Nox or <laughs> any like hacks, no, Nox. Our Vimper, product, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, they have a features or limitation or restriction, as you call it, uh, to mm-hmm. prevent any unauthorized download or unauthorized uh, application that being installed. Mm. So let's say if you want to, like, how to say, bypass it. Okay. Yeah, you can't even bypass it uh, unless you go into like the hardware level. Hardware <laughs> like, level. Like, no. you, you are some sort of like a genius. In- <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we are like, you know. Yeah, but this one is actually... Um, it won't be possible to. It won't be possible. Yeah. I see. Because of my understanding. To, and yeah, download it. Because the mm-hmm. the the moment you try to click or mm-hmm. like click install or what, do anything with the mm-hmm. apps, there will be a pop up message that yeah, yeah that appeared that say like you are not allowed, like you are restricted. From I see. It's like kind of blacklist. Like yeah. So correct. so you like you can't mm. do this, you can't because do that. Because for MDM solution, there are lots of uh, restrictions and uh, uh, yeah, there are lots of uh, restriction and policies that you can set to that one device. I believe the proper terminology is called corporate policy or something. Yeah, corporate yeah, policies. Yeah, corporate policy. Mm-hmm. I think believe every organization have their own corporate policy. Like, uh, I think maybe you can share one or two like <laughs> standard one. The the most easiest one is they won't allow the employees to factory reset. Exactly. Yes, factory reset. You oh wait, wait, wait. Reset. Yo, yo, okay, okay. I now I get it. Mm-hmm. So it means like you can you don't allow them to factory reset to to make any changes or fresh install yeah. so they can take yeah, the phone. Yeah, you can even do that. The, for Android there will be a pop up pop up message error saying like security policies prevent you to do this or like ah, unauthorized access. Okay. But for iOS the the how to say the features for erase all content and settings will be totally removed. Oh, so it's not yeah. even there for you to click. Yes, you can reset the you can reset <laughs> um, the device setting to default, but yeah. you can't picture reset. It. I see, I see. Mm-hmm. So it means like the totally the button is disappeared. Yes, correct. <laughs> You're gonna look for it. Yeah? Right. <laughs> okay. I think that's that's all. Uh, I mean, that's all for our Q and A session. Like uh, like throughout the whole a few days that we've been blasting out, which is uh, our questions. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, we have more questions to be honest. Uh, but these are the one that been highlighted from our team, which is we, uh, we found out they are commonly asked and uh, highlighted. Let's yes. say. So in uh in a lump sum that uh, we are trying to end this like. In a like, very casual way. In a casual way, because this is a very casual session that uh, yeah. me and Ashiki finally been able to meet up here, you know, for do this to you guys. And uh, we want to talk about all the Q&A we've been uh, experienced in the past. For the past few weeks, I yeah. think, yeah. So maybe any teaser for the next uh, next session or maybe mm-hmm. it's still kept in secret. <laughs> Perhaps uh, I can talk about the... Uh... Maybe privacy versus protections. Privacy and protection. Yeah, maybe that will be one of the topic. Mm-hmm. Or maybe I'll talk about the more on the DEP or exactly. like iOS yeah. yeah. 
Like we, I don't think we covered this. Uh, I think we cover. Uh, maybe I can just talk minorly about, touch yes. on it. Like the maybe I can talk about like enrollment, uh, the difference between uh, Android device enrollment and uh, Apple device enrollment. <laughs> So the difference, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, we're gonna keep it short. So if you still have any question, uh, please, 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 uh, drop us in the message, or maybe you can send us an email in hello Elias Sindas dot biz. But it's uh, anyway, it's in our website. But I would prefer you guys uh use uh, Messenger or use Lido because uh we are time to time in there to to respond to you. Mm -hmm. We keep updating. Also. Yeah, updating all the time. So I think that's all. Do you have any? Shout out already. <laughs> already. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But I'm um, gonna wish like uh, some high riot to exactly. everyone, and then like stay safe. Stay and safe. Don't go anywhere during MCO. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, bye, guys. Uh, bye. it's very nice to guys see you guys here. So uh, keep in touch, and uh, see you guys soon. Bye bye. bye see you. <laughs>